That happens. No big deal. We're gonna change the leaf springs out. Change all the leaf spring bolts. And add a little twist to this video. We're gonna add a leaf. And I'll show you how to add a leaf to each one of the leaf springs. Give it just a little bit more strength. That one's broke, broke down a few weeks ago. Pretty sure a pothole did that one while I was loaded. This one happened the first of this week. Or it's cracked right here. Not sure why that one broke. They've been on here for a while, they're sprung. It's time to put new leaf springs on. These are for 8,000 pound axle capacity, 4,000 pound leaf spring. One, two, three, four, five, six leaves. We'll pull this bolt out, pull this pack together. One picked up some new bolts, same size. They're four inch bolts. So we head going through here. this pack and it's gonna meet right up about right here. Get it out of the way. I want that one. See it'll put right up to it. Come back to those leaves. Thousand pound and trade four plus. That's all I want. I want that little extra. Now this one's done. Ready to go put it on. How quick, how easy it is. This was the second one we pulled off the trailer. Still bolted together. Well, there's a throw it from the vise. Clamp that on that bolt. Okay, before we can put these on, we need to go back and clean up the threads on these U-bolts. 
Also a problem you're going to run into. They don't want to fit back into the holes with the camera. On. Fix that. Get a rubber mallet. Don't beat on the threads. You don't want to mess them up. Get a hard hit. A little more. Just about all of them. You gotta force them. Forcing them up here is easy. When you're down there trying to hook it all up, forcing is no fun. Perfect. The threads are all cleaned up. Now we can put it back together. All right, now we're ready to put the leaf spring up in there. When it comes to your bolts and nuts, knurled in, we'll go to the inside. Threaded it in and the nut will be on the outside. When you put these on, you'll notice if you bought them at the trailer place, the in one side of the nut has been nicked or hit with a punch. That's the way it will lock on. You don't need no lock washer with these. And with it being like that, they won't back out as you're driving down the road. The opposite side will not have any markings on it. And it will thread on. Start them that way. As you tighten it up, it'll pull this one. On the back side there, it'll pull it into place and it'll lock it into the grooves. And as this side, I'm not sure if you can see those or not. Some little indentions on that nut work as a lock washer. So, the way I do is I put the back one on and put in first. That one's in place already. Right. Now we can put our axle in place. Every now and then you'll lose the nut that's on that holding that leaf spring pack together. When you take your U-bolt kit off, that happens. No big deal. These two here, they've been changed. All the bolts are all tightened up. These two over here, they're changed. All bolts are tight. All brake pads look good. While you're there, you might as well check your brake pads. Always go back and check your bolts. Don't trust your power tools. Put the tires back on. Take it down off the ramps. Put the ramps over to the front wheels so we can pull the back end up off the ground and change those two. All right, we're done putting six leaf springs on, brand new leaf springs with bolts. And we also added a leaf. Now there are seven leaves per pack. I put the trailer down, down off the ramps, everything. It was obvious it was sitting higher, which is good because it don't sit very far away from the frame as it is. I don't like that. If you like what you've seen, if it helped you out, great. Like, subscribe, share. There's more of this to come. Thanks for watching.